Right, a video just on distributed file system. So it's so distributed file system or DFS is one which provides a framework so that you can consolidate all the shared folders coming from different servers into a unified file system. So essentially, rather than having it so it says LBAD slash uh, help or IT support, you could have it so it says itsupport.net slash ict support slash help rather than some folders being on lbad some on dns and so on and so forth it just makes it so it's much easier to get them together so firstly i'm just going to install it so the ways i can install it i can add the role and features i'll just move that up and i'll get past our onto the server selection and I just need to open up file and server runs and I've got DFS namespaces and DFS replication we're just going to use the namespaces for the minute and then we'll use the replication later but I'm just going to install it on here I'm going to ignore all the rest and I'm just going to install it so while that's going, we'll have a look at how to install it on the core using PowerShell. I can learn to understand you much better if I can get familiar with the web. So there's our DNS server. Not already loaded, so let's just get full screen. So, so just clear the screen of all that command right so I'm just going to install the Windows feature and because this one's a file system one I'm going to use it's just file system and then what it's called and I'm, I'm also going to install at the same time my replication just so I can show both of them and as always I'm going to include the management tools and that will go off and do its thing and get itself all installed So I'm just see how the other one's doing. And that's all done. Okay. And I'm just going to go on to my DFS management. Okay. So you've got your two if you've installed both, you've got your namespaces and your replication. So in namespaces I can create namespaces so I could just this one's what one will host it so I'm going to use this one I'm going to give a name to the namespace so I'm just going to use a one called help I'm going to make it so it's domain based so that you see it as that and I'm just going to create it. So I quickly created a namespace. At the moment, it's not actually linked to anything. It's just there. It knows where I am. And it's just there. And I can add a new folder for where it actually is physically on here. so it's just at the moment it's just an unlinked one but for the minute that's as far as I'm going to go and then I'll show you how to set it up 
in a minute. Okay, right, thanks for watching.